This video will focus on answering questions about a line plot. Whenever we're looking at any type of graph, we always want to make sure that we look at the title and that we look at the what the X and Y axis are labeled. Here we only have an X axis, we don't have a Y axis. So the title of this uh, line plot is Sam Studying Hours, and the numbers along the X axis um, represent numbers of hours uh, Sam spent studying. So each X is a different time that he studied, okay? So we're gonna look at answering some questions. Now when we're answering questions about line plots or any uh, any type of question that we're answering, we always want to um, kind of really comprehend that word problem. Sometimes you may have to read it slowly. You may need to stop and think about what words mean. You might want to draw a picture. I do urge you to try to read the questions on your own um, and, and use some of those strategies we just, just discussed. If it's, you're still struggling, then definitely get somebody to help you. So we're going to look at like three questions. The first one we're going to look at is how many times did Sam document his, his studying time? So when we look at the graph, um, remember we talked about just a minute ago that each of these X's represent a time that he studied. Um, so to figure out how many uh, times did he study, different times that he studied, we're going to count those X's. So one way to do that is just count every X. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So he studied 13 different times. He documented it 13 times. All right, now another way you could have looked at that is to use some of your skip counting skills. You could have said three, six, and then counted by twos, eight, 10, 12, 13. So you could have used either of those strategies or you may come up with another one on your own. All right, another question that we're gonna look at answering is how many times did Sam study for three hours or longer? How many times did he study for three hours or longer? Okay. So I'm going to find where three hours is on my line plot. And because it says three hours or longer, just want to remind you three hours or longer, I am going to include the three and everything past the three, okay? So I want to count my X's, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So he studied 11 times three hours or longer. Once again, you could use your skip counting skills. You could say three, six, and then eight, 10, 11. All right, let's look at one more question. How many times did Sam study less than three hours? How many times did he study less than three hours? Now this is different than the last question because it does not include the three because it says less than three. Remember a minute ago it said three or more. This says less than three. So we are not going to include the three. We're going to include everything past the three. And he only studied two times that were less than two, um, three hours. So you go, Sam. He spent a lot of time studying. I'm sure he will do well. So once again, as we are learning to answer questions about line plots, um, make sure that you read the question. You may need to draw pictures, read it slowly, read a few words or a sentence at a time. Um, and if you're still struggling, then definitely ask somebody to help you. Now it's going to be your turn to try some questions and try answering some questions about line plots.